Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got five more really, really cool knives for you guys to be aware of. Not everything on this list is absolutely available right now, but I still want you guys to be aware of them because they will likely become available in the future. But some of them are absolutely available, and I will make sure that they are linked right down below so you guys can at least check out the listings. These are seriously cool. Today's episode has some awesome stuff. It is all expensive. This is an episode where it's going to be kind of expensive. I do have other episodes. You can check out the Five Cool Knives playlist if you want to. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. It does help out when you use those links down there. Um, but that's entirely up to you. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First one here, made in the USA. This is the Hogue MagnaCut Counter-Strike. Uh, OTF. This is super cool. This is part of their collector series. Uh, Hogue does a great job with MagnaCut, and they also do a great job um, with their general machining and overall quality, especially considering this is actually made in the United States. In this case, we have a beautiful carbon fiber front scale that's been, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, is, is this fluting, what they've done, like the texturing here? Really nice. We actually have T... Uh, we have Torx hardware. I didn't actually check it before the video. The point is, it's not proprietary. So you can actually get into it if you want. And then we have an aluminum, uh, like the main part of the frame is aluminum. Nice pocket clip. Don't really care about the glass breaker. The blade is also really cool. And uh, the fact that it's magna cut and is actually a super well-made OTF is awesome. Blade play is incredibly minimal on this. We're not, obviously we're not looking at you know, Hawk deadlock solidity, but this is right up there with your uh, Microtex and stuff like that. This guy, even being a super special edition with some flashy stuff, is coming in at $339, which is a lot of money, especially if you're new to the knife world, that's going to come as a uh, wet canoe paddle to the face. Um, but if you know what this thing's real competition is, that is, in my opinion, kind of a steal. There are definitely other OTF manufacturers out there that are making high quality OTFs, not that not the other stuff, right? The pretend stuff that are actually making high quality uh, UTFs, uh, OTFs, uh, the same as, as this caliber here, but they're charging way more money. This is a really, really nice OTF with some awesome power and it just looks good. And it's nice and full size too. Uh, will make for a great EDC carry considering it's compact size, etc. Moving on here um, to another OTF and a major heavy hitter. <laughs> Oh man, this is the Max Ace Medusa 2.0 with the double edge and we have the full DLC. The frame is 7075 aluminum with titanium inlays. And we have this awesome dagger ground blade. Very, very precision. The precision on this thing, the overall execution of this knife is absolutely incredible. Uh, the 2.0, I don't know what else is different besides the fact that they did the DLC and the fact that they offer different blade shapes now. But if you guys watched my original review of the first one, oh my gosh, this is insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. M390 blade, uh, fantastic firing power. I will note, you know, um, the, uh, the amount of force that it takes to deploy it is quite a bit. Um, so if you have uh, thumbs on the weaker side, or if you've ever had trouble with Microtex, you might have a little trouble with that one. Uh, but it is very powerful and absolutely just like the Hogue is absolutely sturdy on lockout. This is incredible and comes in, if you can find it, because it's sometimes not available, at about $278, which I find to be very competitive, especially, I mean, it is manufactured in China, but how many other OTFs have you seen out there that are doing titanium in the frames and inlaid like this? This is no, this is no easy way to do this, right? Um, this is absolutely above and beyond. I, uh, I am shocked that they, I'm truly shocked that they only cost 278 bucks. Don't increase the price, Max Ace. Don't do it. Keep it here, right? It's still, it's not like, oh my gosh, my socks are completely blown off, right? But it's still, as it sits, I think it's pretty impressive. Very, very cool. Let's move on here. This one has a long name, but I don't think a lot of people know about this. And I'm really excited to share this with you guys because it is absolutely available. This, <laughs> this is the Fox slash TFG or Tools for Gents. Forgive me. I'm going to mispronounce a bunch of this. Guddy or Goody Van Poppel Eastwood Tiger. 
And this particular version is Titanium and S90V. There are not many of these. There are multiple versions and there are there's a, a wide variety in terms of pricing. These are made by Fox Knives apparently in Italy. Uh, so this is a collaboration between Fox Knives and Tools for Gents. And I'm honestly happy to report that the action is pretty darn good, which is not something that I have truthfully experienced consistently with Fox Knives in the past. But this is really nice, especially the S90V ones. I think they have a, a few different variants and different colorways. I really like that they, this has to be Cerakote um, because they didn't, you, you can't get red on titanium. But that looks awesome. The knife is a big, pretty beefy knife. It's really cool to get S90V. Honestly, it's just nice to see more S90V in general. M390 is on everything. It's really nice that some companies are, you know, trying out some different steels. S90V is a great steel. This is a really nice titanium frame lock and it's got a not completely and totally unique look, but it's different than what we're usually seeing. I I have very much enjoyed this and you can see here we've got a DLC frame and a DLC blade. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the price on this one as well. This particular version that you're looking at here is $305, but they do also have S90V variants as low as about $250. You have to convert because you're going to Tools for Gents, which is out of Europe, right? But it's right around there. I, I think this is really cool. I have yet to do the review, honestly, on any of the things that you're gonna see in this video. This is not a review, but the reviews are coming. I really like this one. I think it's awesome. Uh, I will link tools for gents right down below and it should be pretty easy to find from there. Moving on here, uh, the least expensive one of the bunch, which is gonna be a slight breath of fresh air uh, for some people, but you know, just slightly above water because I know all of these are pretty expensive. Uh, this is the new Miguron Dromos, which is a nice, clean, straightforward aesthetic. There's a little bit, kind of a little bit of Koenig Arius flowiness going on here. It's not a, not a copy, but it does have, you know, that similar flowiness to it. What I like about it is you get Miguron's incredible execution of the materials. This is M390 titanium and some beautiful carbon fiber inlays. All really, really nice work. You also get a full titanium backspacer and a titanium pocket clip. Um, just really nice presentation overall and a really nice, consistent, probably very fine bead blast uh, on this M390 blade. And it also has the opening hole so you can do um, the reverse flick. The action is very smooth and it's very snappy. It comes in at a very competitive $193, which is great. No surprise for people who are familiar with Migron. They are absolutely competitive in this market and bringing some serious quality to the table. Uh, the Dromos is not anything brand new, but worth checking out for all of the reasons that I listed. Very cool. And then finally, my absolute favorite of the bunch. I don't think this is available now, but please Please, Kunwu, please do more of this. This is exceptional and I am very excited about it. This is the Kunwu S Tau Sheep's Foot in freaking Vanax. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, I love Vanax. Somebody in my comments described Vanax perfectly if you're unfamiliar with it. Imagine LC200N, which is a steel that people very much love because it is nearly invincible versus corrosion and it has pretty good edge retention. Imagine that, but with way better edge retention. Vanax is what they use as the core. Well, you know, Damasteel, uh, the Damasteel company has their own proprietary blend of it, but it is essentially Vanax. That's what they use in Damacor, which if you're familiar with Damacor is not inexpensive. Vanax is very expensive steel, extremely expensive steel. But um, this is the type of thing that leaves like, you know, uber popular steels like M390 in the absolute dust. But it, it's not used very often because it's just incredibly expensive. Um, this is a titanium frame lock that's been tuned beautifully and it's also a front flipper and you can also use that hole to reverse flick it. The sheep's, the sheep's foot blade is gorgeous. We have texturing on the titanium, which is beautiful. You get a Timascus pivot collar. Not my favorite pocket clip, but as far as wire clips go, this works. And then we have standoff uh, or pillar construction. Just an absolutely insane beast of a knife with a great choke up position, great ergonomic in general, great action, just beautiful execution and uh, staying true to what Kunwu has been doing here lately, which has been offering some of the very best execution and overall quality in, in including making sure heat treats are correct. Uh, they have been offering this stuff for insanely competitive prices. Now, this is one of the higher priced Kunwus out there. 
Um, it's, I think it's one of the most expensive Kunus out there. But again, this is in Vanax. And normally I say, you know, don't read too much into the steel. There's lots of expensive super steels in this category. You know, it's like don't don't think that oh it's 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 two hundred dollars more, but at least it's M three ninety and not S thirty V because that two hundred dollars is not like that's not the markup for M three ninety, right? In the case of Vanex, however. It is very expensive stuff. These came in at $279, which I believe to be insanely fair, especially considering they probably could have charged way more because there's almost nothing else out on the market that's offering Vanex right now. Nothing that's even coming close to this price tag. Um, and those of you fearing, like, as soon as you say that, they're going to mark it up. Uh, the guy who runs Kunwu, it's his mission to continue to bring this type of stuff to the market for fair prices. And he's been doing an excellent job. Anybody who's been familiar with Kunwu, you know that that's been the case. Uh, check out their website. You can't really go wrong with Kunwu knives, but if, I really hope that they continue to do these. I'm sure that they will or bring other designs to the table. Uh, utilizing Vanax and, and uh, you know, trying to hit those higher uh, HRC numbers. Um, I... Uh, I'm just very, very impressed with this knife, and um, I cannot wait to review it and share my thoughts with you guys. Um, this is an absolute joy to carry, and I will continue to carry and use this knife even after I am done with it. This is one that I'm actually going to keep in my personal collection. Um, I might end up keeping some of these other ones too, but just to go back over and refresh with everybody, we have the Kunwu S Tau in the Sheep's Foot Vanax Blade. Uh, we have the uh, very well-priced Migron Dromos, or at least that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Uh, we have the Fox TFG, et cetera, et cetera. That's a really hard, I mean, I'll go ahead and say it. The, the Goody Van Poppel. I'm so sorry. I know I'm, I'm mispronouncing that and I just don't know how to pronounce it. So that's my fault. Uh, Eastwood Tiger. Um, then we have the Max Ace Medusa 2.0. Sorry, there's a, a stampede of elephants on my main floor, apparently. And then finally, we have, um, the, uh, Collector Series Hogue Counter Strike in Magnica. Like I said, I'll make sure and link at least the original listings for these. I mean, depending on when you're watching it, it might be available, so it's worth checking. I'll go ahead and link all this stuff right down below so you guys can check it out. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Five Cool Knives. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.